Oh yeah, baby. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Welcome back to the Vintage Bins Draft of 2020, episode number four. And we got two bins today that we're gonna go through with you guys. And I already see some grailish stuff. Look at that right there. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, make sure you go check those out. Episodes one, two, three. Oh, there's over 1500 units of just clothing pretty much. And then there's like thousands of video game stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into the draft. Here we are, Kyle had the first draft in the last video, so I'm gonna get first draft in this one. We're doing one or two? Let's do ones to start with. Ones. Or face. Which one? The, this one? The one that was on top, yeah. I think I might wanna go with something. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna start it off with Tyron Matthew. That's a very good choice. Cardinals jersey, Nike, right here. I'm taking it. I think I'm gonna have to go with the Burton. I sold a very nice pair of Burton snow pants a couple weeks back. You know, it's a pretty good brand. Ski season might be over soon, but I don't know. I'm okay with sitting on it for a while. Burton's a good one. Bar's a great brand. Oh, whoa, what's this? I haven't picked any Disney because Kyle keeps taking it all, so I'm gonna go with the Epcot Disney Figment shirt. This is 2002, so it's not super old, but I need to get some Disney in my lineup, so. I'm jealous. I'm going with the Figment. I'm jealous of your Figment. I'm jealous of that. That was a good one. Buckeyes. 28. I want to say that's Ezekiel Elliott. I'm not 100% sure though. You um, got a nice Columbia. You know, I think I'm going to go with the ski suit. I sold a, a ski pick. suit recently. It wasn't a top tier name brand, but I think I got about 50 bucks for it late in the season. So that's solid. I got to take the ski suit, I think. All right. All right, I'm going with the Hugo Boss made in the USA blazer. I got to take a chance on something, you know? There's so much stuff here that. I'll tell you what, if you- I'm gonna go with the Peter, you, I'm going with the Peter Millar. Oh, okay. I'm going with the Peter Millar. I'm going with that. All right. Peter Millar is a good pick. This is Orvis. This is a really good size. Uh, Orvis is probably a $30, $40 shirt. Um, I don't know, this aircraft aviation jacket is kind of tempting. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association on a super old flight apparel tag. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna go with the Nike FSU. I have quite a few kids who follow my Poshmark who go to FSU. I think they'll really like this. I think someone will want that instantly. That's good. All right, I'm going with the Cleveland Indians. It's still here. You've been looking at I've it. I've been looking at it. I just need to pick it before I get upset that I did it. All right, on that note, I'm going with the Ohio State Buckeyes jersey, Nike. Nice. It's hard to pass up jerseys, you know? There's a lot of them here. There really are. This is a Colts jersey. This is, what is this one? Oh, this is the New York starter jersey right there. We've got a vintage Patriots jersey on a champion, Glenn. Uh, this is a 90s jersey, it's Youth XL, but Patriots have a cult following and there's tons of jerseys, so I'm going with Patriots. Nice. I'm going to go with, you know what? I'm gonna go with that, where's that number 17 jersey? Yeah, I starter. was looking at that one, the starter one. one. I've liked that one for a little while now. 17, starter. You gotta get it before Drew. I don't know, what, what is this? What is that? We didn't even <laughs> see this. It's like silk something. Lorraine? It's like a women's lingerie-esque thing. I'm gonna set this right here just so we know where it is. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Orvis shirt. Orvis is good. It's a great bolo brand. This caught my eye right at the beginning. It's the Olympics. The Olympics are coming up this summer. This is from the 2002 Salt Lake City Winter Games. I'm going with that. I like this. Maybe I'll be a bad pick, but we'll see. I like that one. I think it's a good pick. They're all good picks. There's no bad pick. All right, I think I'm gonna go with it. Well, nothing on the back or nothing on the front. Just kind of disappointing with this vintage champion grease. I think I'm gonna go with the Tommy cable knit sweater. I think this is a classic, must-have essential piece. This is $30, $40 for me. You have a lot of success with this. I think I want the Brian Grease, though. I think I want the Grease. I, I need that one. At this point, I'm just going to risk it. I'm going for the Raiders jersey. It's a little faded, but it's it's white. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm just feeling the Raiders one. That's a good choice. I think I'm leaning towards this North Face. It has the uh, breast cancer awareness on it. I think I'm gonna go with that. 
my pick. All right. I'm sticking with the jerseys, Jets jersey. I'm just going to pick it right now. I think I really want Taz. I think I low-key want Taz. It's from 1996. It's a Christmas one. That's a good one. But it's fun looking. I'm taking it. Okay, I this is my first time seeing this in the pile. It says <laughs> Lord Jeff uh, Virgin Camel's Wool, made in the USA. I have a good feeling about this one. So I'm going with the camel's hair vest. I'm going back to the North Face that I was looking at at the beginning. I'm picking that one up. As a kids, but in these late rounds, I'm into it again. What? Ooh. What do we got? This is Prada. This says Prada, made in Italy. We were sleeping on that. This could be real, it could be fake. I got the uh, Versace in one of the last videos, so I'm gonna take a chance on the Prada. I think this was hiding in the shadows. Yeah, so, in this, keeping in that spirit, I'm going with the Vineyard Vines. I know what this is, it's an easy bread and butter brand. All right, sticking with the jerseys, I'm going with the Dwight Howard jersey, Orlando Magic. Can't go wrong with that. Let me go with the, uh, Soccer jersey right here. Good one. Not great with soccer jerseys. I don't know much about them, but I'd love to learn. I don't know. This NHL windbreaker pullover is kind of calling my name. I've been looking at it Montreal, Canada, something or other, so I'm going to go with the NHL. I can't get over how this feels. It's a good one. I guess I got to go with it. I got to go with it. All I'm right. With the nat taking the nat nast. nast. All right. I'm going to take the Tommy Hilfiger rugby. I think this is a good one. The collar and the neck on it is just really cool, so. I'm going with that one. I'm going to go with the Gonzalez Colts jersey. I think I'm going to go with that one. It's in really nice shape. It looks really good. I think I got to go with that one. Yeah. Okay. This is new with tags, PGA Tour XXL. Um, I think golf stuff is year round. So considering it's brand new, I think this is a good pickup. 100%. Now, I might, this might be a big mistake. This feels super soft. Like, yeah, really dude. Is. I know. I know. It's like insane. It kind of blew on me in the wind, so I was like, you know what, I gotta look it up. I don't know what Lorraine is, but we're gonna find out. If you know in the comments, please let me know. Please, please, please. All right, these are Levi's Red Tab. Um, these are the 950 Relaxed Fit, and they're made in the USA. Orange tab, so I'm gonna go with a pair of pants on this one. Pick up the Levi's. You know, I think I might follow you in the spirit of picking the pants. I was looking at these Harlem Globetrotter pants at the very beginning. I nice. didn't know much about them, but. Oh, it's Platinum FUBU. Okay. You know what? I've actually sold Harlem Globetrotters FUBU. I'm going to take a risk on them. I think we're good. Nice. All right. All right. We're going to hit up the twos for the last little bit here because this video has been going for a little bit. Um, I'm going to go with this Tommy Hilfiger Golf Windbreaker with a nice flag on the back. Um, just a really good pullover for golf again. And Tom Brady and the Bucks. I got to go with the Bucks classic button-down shirt right here. This is just really nice. I like it. I think I'm going to go with the Edron James jersey just to round out my Colts jerseys. This one's not in as great a shape, but I think I can still work with it. Okay. And then, now, the Affliction shirts, for whatever reason, this one's called, been calling to me the whole time. I think I'm going to go with the Affliction shirt. I've heard of that. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I'm going to go with the J. Crew sweater right here. Um, just a nice zip. And I don't know, I've really liked this Tony Lambert, the zebra sweater. Like that thing is just insane. Look how cool it is. So I think I'm gonna pick this up. Some girl is really gonna love that. That's a good call. I was looking at this seersucker shirt with the little lobsters on it. I kind of like it. I think it's kind of fun. I'm gonna go with the seersucker lobster from Brooks Brothers. Nice. It's pretty cool. And then, you know, I've been picking up a lot of denim and moving a lot of jeans lately. Oh, hello. Nope. I'm, I'm going with the jeans. I'm going with the Levi's. These are a nice pair, 32, 30, 550s. It's a solid, nice, normal pair. They'll move quick. Nice. All right, I've been kind of holding out on this one, but it's a Columbia Titanium long sleeve button-up shirt. This is just a good piece, probably a $15, $20 item all day, maybe more. So I'm gonna pick up the Columbia, and I think I'm gonna go with the other Hugo Boss jacket. That's probably a good move. Just That's... a good pickup, really clean, really nice. I don't want it to get scratched on the concrete anymore, so I'm going to pick up the Hugo Boss. I think I'm going to go with the, you know what, this one is pretty cool. It's a Yukon jersey. It's a little stained up, but I think if I wash it a little bit, it might clean up pretty well. And then I guess I'm going to go with the, I guess I'm going with the Polo Ralph Lauren. I love Polo. It's a kid's, but I think it will do well. Can't go wrong with Polo. All right, this one I've been looking at. 
It's a uh, vintage champion. This thing is old, like probably 80s uh, champion. It's very small, but it's a uh, Trinity shirt, uh, single stitch. I think it's definitely a solid pickup for me. And uh, this is a Banana Pub Republic extra fine merino, something like that. Um, I don't know. It just feels super soft. Feel that. That's really soft. I think we skipped over this one, maybe. So I'm going with this one, the Banana Republic. So I know Helly Hansen does pretty good for jackets. I've never really seen a polo. So I guess I'm going to take a risk, take the Helly Hansen polo. And one of my bread and butter items is Simply Southern. So it's I think I got to go Simply Southern. It's a good one. All right, I guess that leaves me. I'll take the uh, Vineyard Vines shirt. This is just a classic piece. And um, what is this? Nutty Brunette, EJ's Brew House brand. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, Cream U Collection sweater vest. Just looks nice. Good call. And I guess that leaves me with the. Da, 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 da. Got a little Harvest vest here, reversible. Vanity Fair. That's oh, look, cool. this is reversible for like Halloween and Christmas. And. Look at that. I guess I'm gonna go with the reversible and Drew, you got the BJ's. All right, I'll take the BJ shirt. All right guys, that was a pretty good round, I think. Let us know again who you think won in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like on this video and stay tuned for episode five. Thanks for watching so much, you guys are awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Peace money.